Hey everyone, today we're going to be making an animated hamburger icon like this inside After Effects and then we're going to export it as a Lottie file. Yep, you can even draw an After Effects, so let's go. And here we are in After Effects, taking a look at what we're going to make today. If I scrub from the left to the right, you can see that middle line disappear before the top and the bottom line create the close icon. And then you would play this backwards once you hand it over to your developer to get back to the beginning. And by that I mean Lottie files can be played forwards and backwards, so you really only need to do the forward animation for this one. But if you were to play this, it's just going to do this loop like that. But, like I said, you can programmatically with a Lottie file play it forwards and then backwards. So this would be once somebody taps on it to open the menu. And this would be when somebody taps on it again to close the menu. And before we begin, if you want to watch a video that will take you through installing After Effects and the body moving extension that we'll need that exports what we're doing here as a Lottie file, you can watch this video here. That will take you through all of that. And then you can come back and follow along. So let's come over to the project panel. Go down to the bottom and hover over this icon, create a new composition, hit that, and mine's already set up from before, but you can see the settings here. The width is 24 pixels, the height is 24 pixels because we're just making a 24 pixel icon. The frame rate is 60, so the animation is smooth, and I'm going to change this from 2 to something like 31. Now, we'll probably trim off that 0 0.01 of a second, but let's just leave it for now. Let's go rename it to icon hamburger 24. Now I might just put new there. Now you're going to probably start with a clean slate so you can just call it this but I'm going to do this for now and then let's select OK. Now if you haven't got your ruler displaying you can hold down command R that'll toggle it off and on. I'm going to go to After Effects preferences and then go down to grid and guides and then there I'm going to make sure that there's a grid line every one pixels with a subdivision of one. And you can change the color here if you like. Select OK. Then I'm going to turn on that grid by going to View, Show Grid, and you can see the keyboard shortcut there. OK, so we can see the grid, but we need some guides to be able to snap some points to when we're using the pen tool to draw our lines. So I'm going to drag from the left here, and you can see that guide come in. I'm going to hold down shift so it snaps to a pixel and then go 2 in. I'm going to go grab another one and snap it to 12. You can see that up the top so it's right in the middle. Another one to 22 so it's 2 away from there. Then I'm going to go to the top and do the same. 2 down, halfway down, and then 2 from the bottom. Then I'm going to create some more vertical lines that are 3 down from the top of that last one and three from the bottom of that last one. This is where we're going to put our lines. So let's create the first line. And to do that, we're going to come down to the Timeline panel, right-click on it, and go New Shape Layer. So that's going to make an empty shape layer that we're now going to draw the lines into. Okay, so let's select it, press Enter. That will allow it to be renamed, and type in Hamburger. And come up to the Pen tool, select that, and then go over to Stroke, click on there, make sure that Stroke is at black, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That the Stroke width is at 1.5, and you can do that by just entering it. And that there's no fill. Now, if there is a fill color there for you, you can go to the left of it here and select Fill Options, and then just switch between Fill and No Fill. And OK, with the pencil selected, Let's go and make our first point. Now we can't do that because the guides are in the way. So let's go to View, Show Guides, and then come down and click around here, and then click over here. All right, so that's made our first one, but we have to tidy it up. So let's turn the guides back on, then go over to the Selection tool, and then just drag. That's going to select the point that you can now move around, and it's going to snap now to that point. Let's do the same with the other one. Great. Okay, we've made our first line. Now if we come down to the hamburger layer, we can see in contents that there is shape. We're going to press enter 
and change that to line one. We're going to open it up. We can see path, stroke, fill, and transform, right? We're going to open up path because we're going to set keyframes on that later on, and then open up stroke. And we can see all the details that we entered in before, the color that you can change anytime you like. So let's keep it at black. The stroke width that you can also change, but let's keep that at 1.5 and then butt cap. So we're going to change this to round cap. That means when it's rendered, it's going to have a nice rounded edge. Now you can't really see that in After Effects because After Effects, unlike Illustrator or something like Sketch or Figma, displays vectors that you've just drawn like this as pixels because it's going to have to render out a pixel based video asset. Now let's close that. So just select line one. Then we're going to duplicate it two more times. I'm going to hold down Command D, do it once and then twice. Then I'm going to move line one to the top, line two to the middle, and line three at the bottom. With line one selected, I'm going to turn the other two off and then just move it up to about there. Turn number two on, that's fine. Turn number two off, turn number three on. Select number three and then just drag it down to the bottom. Let's turn the other one on. And then we go, I've got a hamburger or menu icon. Now let's go and animate these lines. Let's select the middle one, line two. Open this up, go to path. And here you can see this little stopwatch. Let's select that, making sure it's on the first frame. That's gonna set a keyframe. Then we're gonna click and drag the playhead over to 20. And you can do this by holding down shift or shift command forward, forward twice. Do another keyframe and then go and select its paths. And we can do this by selecting the path level here and then dragging on that point and then just moving it over until it disappears or almost disappears. Now to make it disappear completely, we can open transform here, make a keyframe for opacity around there, come back to about 18, make another keyframe and go back to 20 and then just drag this to the left. That's gonna make sure that when it animates over, it disappears completely. Okay, and with that done, let's go and do the other two. Now we want the top one to do this and the bottom one to do this, to make an X. So let's close line two, open line one, make sure we're at the zero point again with path one open, set a keyframe, come to 20, set another keyframe, and then making sure that path is highlighted like this, use the select tool to drag and then pull this point down to there, then drag again over this point and move it up to the top. And we're going to go do the reverse of that to line three. Let's open path, make sure it's zero, make a keyframe, come to 20, make sure it's highlighted, click and drag to grab that point, move it up to there, drag this point and move it down to there. And we're almost done. You can see that when we scrub through this, the middle line is getting out of the way and the two lines are coming over to make the X. But this is all happening at once. And we want to get this line that's happening in the middle out of the way before the other two do what they're supposed to be doing. And to do that, we can grab the keyframes that we just made, hold down shift and move them over until the last one rests on 30 frames. And we're going to open up line one and do the same here. Select its keyframes, drag them over until they're about there. And then let's see what happens now. The line gets out of the way in the middle and then the close icon is made. All right, now if we play this, everything's happening pretty linearly, right? So what we're gonna do here is add some keyframe velocity. So things start off slow, then speed up and then finish slow. And to make this a bit easier, I'm just gonna select the layer and hit U on my keyboard. That's gonna bring up all the keyframes. I'm gonna select all the ones on the left, right click and then go to keyframe assistant easy ease out. Then I'm going to select the two on the right here and do the same, but make them easy ease in. Then I'm going to select these two and make these easy ease in as well. So let's click and drag to select all the left keyframes, right click and then go to keyframe velocity. I'm going to change 33.3333% here to 80. Click and drag to select all the ones on the right and then go to keyframe velocity and change the incoming to 80 as well. Now that should smooth things out. Let's just take a look. 
Yeah, you can see that starting off very slowly, speeding up and then slowing down before it stops. And the top ones are doing the same. So they're moving a little bit from here to here, speeding up and then slowing down. Let's play it back. That's it, we're done. This icon is now ready to be exported with the body moving extension as a JSON file that we can then preview inside Lighty Preview. And to do that, let's go up to Window, Extensions, and if you've installed body moving successfully, you're gonna have it here. Let's select it. Wait till it opens, and you can see the original file I made and tested before doing this tutorial here. We're gonna select our Icon Hamburger 24 new composition. And you don't have to do anything else unless you haven't set script access. So let's go to After Effects, Preferences, then Scripting and Expressions, and make sure that this is selected. Allow scripts to write files and access network, or else when you're trying to export the file, you'll get an error. Let's select OK. Now we need somewhere to put this. So let's go over to the three dots on the right hand side. The Save As box will pop up. Now I've just got this inside an icon folder inside desktop. I'm going to change its name though to Icon Hamburger 24, and then select Save. Now all I have to do now is select Render. Okay, it says it's done. Let's go Done. Let's go to Preview, and then select Current Renders. Select this, then you can just drag and see it happening, right? So, so it's got those nice rounded edges, but you can see one frame getting cut off here at the end. So let's close this. Come back to our timeline, come here, and then just drag the timeline area there. All right, and we're going to run it again. Window, extensions, body moving. Let's select render. Done. Preview, current renders, select it, and then see what's happening now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, with that done, let's go over to the Luddy Files website and test this out. And at their site, you have to make an account or else you can't preview the files. So you can see I've done that there, that's me. Once you've done that, you can go up to the menu and go Design Preview. And all we do is drop the file that we just exported into here. Let's go do that. So in Finder, I'm just gonna drag it and drop it here. And there you go. But it's playing like mad, right? So let's pause it and then just scrub through. Okay, great, but what if you wanna preview it inside an app to make sure it works there? Well, Luddy Files has an app, and I'll put the link to download it and install it in the description below, that'll allow you to scan this QR code and then preview it on your phone to make sure that when you hand it over to a developer that's doing like Swift or Android, it's gonna work. I'm gonna test this out on my iPhone. Okay, and with the Luddy Files app open, just go to preview. Okay, the camera comes up, so let's scan that QR code. All right, it's playing just like it did in the uh, website version all over the place. So let's pause it. And there's an icon on the right. Let's edit, right? You can see that there. Let's select that and then select this eyedrop and drag that middle slider all the way over to the left. And now we can see it properly. So let's close this and then just drag again. And that's it, we're done. You have drawn and then animated a hamburger or menu icon using only After Effects. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to rely on like Sketch or Figma or anything else. Exported it as a JSON file and then previewed it as its Lottie file inside the Lottie Files preview site and app. Now you can hand it over to developer and they can take over from there. All right. Hope you're taking care out there, looking after yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.